Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fat Boy for ShaveNation.com. I'm going to perform a shave with a razor that I have shaved with before, but I haven't shaved with it in quite a while. And it is kind of a unique razor, being that it's a straight razor, being that it's made in France. It's called the Spartacus. It's made by Thiers Azar, which is the company that makes them in France. This is the box that it comes with. Let's open it up. It comes in this leather pouch or sleeve, which is very nice, very handsome looking. Let's open that up. Oh, I can't, I have to, <laughs> uh, every time I relate something to you right now, every time I open this razor up and take it out of this case, I think of the scene in the movie The Color of Money with Tom Cruise. So the dude with the cowboy hat, I think his name was Moselle, he comes over to Vince and he goes, what you got in there? And Vince looks with that little boyish grin and he goes, here? Doom. <laughs> Every time I open the razor, I have to think of that scene in the movie. Classic scene. Let's take it out and have a look at Doom. There you go. This razor is a 7-8. Actually, a 6-8 or 7-8, I gotta check. It's been a while. I think it's a... I think it's a 6-8 blade. I'll check. It's got the notch here. It's got the flowing, it looks like flowing water up on top. It's got beautiful ornate detailing, as you can see right there. Very cool looking. The scales or the handle, they're made of ebony. It's a beautiful razor. It's stainless steel. Very sharp looking razor. So I'm going to perform a shave with this. And uh, to be honest, it was just in the box on the side. I forgot it was even there, so I haven't strapped it, I haven't used any chromium oxide, I haven't used anything, haven't sharpened it in a long time, but I did just check and it was able to remove some of my hairs like this. These hanging hairs, it is removing some of those, no problem, so hopefully it's sharp enough to shave with. Maybe not, we'll find out. So I'm going to warm up my face and we'll get right to the shave. All right, I forgot, but I'll fill up my marble cup with some hot water. Here is the Chubby 2 Simpsons brush. There's a look at it. I'll drop that. You can see what it looks like when it's dry. Nice, tight, dense, really thick, full knot. Drop it in there. It retains its shape, and it retains that water for sure. I can feel that... It's probably a couple ounces heavier just from dropping it in that water. I'll use Tob's Sandalwood, Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. One of my all-time faves. Pop the cap on that. Love that smell. Just remove the brush from the water. I'm going to shake out the bulk of the water. And just swirl the tips right in here. I'll just do a face lathering today. Just want to saturate those tips, like so. A little bit of water on it. A little hot water, right to the face. Build up some lather. Once you get it going, don't be afraid to use a little more water. I think using a little more water, having the lather moist instead of dry will Saturate the beard, hydrate it better, soften it. And the hot water feels good on the skin. Just drive it in. I had a pretty heavy beard growth, so... Little figure eight. Smooth everything out. Alright, set the brush down. Let's clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. Dry the fingers. Always with a straight razor. You want to have your fingers dry. All right, let's open it up. I'm going to cut the sideburn on the right side. Work my way down.
Always good audible feedback from this razor. Let's rinse that. Oh, I'm going to try the cold water rinse this time. Everything else hot, like I did in my previous video with the cold water on the safety razor. I'll put a link to it, you can check that out. I want to try this. Part of my reason for doing the straight razor was I wanted to try it. Cold water. On the rinse. Cold steel on face. Lots of stubble on there. Cold water rinse. Right down the neckline. Very good. Everything else warm, just rinsing the blade with cold water. That's that. The soap does want to stick to the blade a little more with the cold water. Now scoop under the nose. Other side. Very good. All right, let me rinse my face. Hot water. Pretty clean after the first pass with the grain, but let's do one more. Brush still has lots of shaving cream on it. Still loaded up. Just a light coating this time. Go to the runways once more. Try the fingers. Cold water rinse. All right, first pass was with the grain. Now I'll go against the grain on the neck like a Japanese style razor. Rinse that. I keep reaching for the hot, but then I go to the cold. All right, other side. So it's right hand, left side, left hand, right side. And you may not see a lot of cream, but the residual is there. Rinse that. I'll go across the grain. Other side.
cleft. Just a little clean up around the chin. Mustache. Hot water rinse. All right, let's do the cheeks. We'll go against the grain on the cheeks. Fold it downward a bit, and then stretch the skin. Find your angle, work your way straight up. This gets you super smooth. You won't have to shave for two days after this. Other side. All right, beautiful. Nice cold water rinse. Take your Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Black, remove the cap, just glide that all around the areas you shaved. Excellent finish to the shave. Might get a little stinging if you went too close. It's a natural astringent. All right, let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. All right, sticking with the Tab Sandalwood Cream, we'll go with Tab Sandalwood Luxury After Shave Gel. After Shave Gel, I should say. A little bit in the fingertips, not too much. Massage that together right into the skin. Smells great. Same scent profile as the cream. Excellent for layering up. This also comes in a moisturizing cream. This is the gel. But we also have the Tab Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream, which is really good too. A little bit on the forehead. Awesome. Check it out. I had heavy beard growth. Cheeks, baby smooth, chin, neck, everything. Got a little bump right there. My beard was pretty heavy, so sometimes they curl in, you get little bumps, but still no cuts. Very nice, excellent shave. Well, let me comment about the cold water rinsing of the razor. I didn't notice a huge difference, but I did notice a slight difference, and it does feel kind of cool to have a warm face, and then the cold steel going right on directly on the skin, it feels very nice. So give it a try yourself, and comment down below. Let me know what you think, I'd like to hear about it. I know, to me, it was a huge difference with the safety razor. Also a difference with the straight razor, but not as huge. I'll just say that. A lot of people have asked and will ask and will continue to ask about what's a better shave, a safety razor or a straight razor? Well, in my opinion, a properly sharpened straight razor is going to give you the closest shave attainable. That's the reason why when you go see a professional barber and you pay 50, 60, 80 bucks for a shave, US, that's what they use. They use a razor that's a straight razor, but they use replaceable blades for hygienic reasons. But when you're home and you're shaving yourself, if you can master the straight razor, you'll be very surprised at how close you can get yourself. And truthfully, you may not shave for one or two days after that because it is a nice close shave. The only thing may come close to it is a R41 or Icon Tech if you can find one, something like that or maybe an adjustable razor turned all the way up, but day in, day out, you get an excellent shave from a straight razor like this. If you want to pick up one of these razors, the Spartacus, or shaving cream, brush, soap, anything, after shave, just click down below the video where it says show more, you can grab it right there, 
or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. And since you stayed with me till the very end, I'm going to tell you a couple, th couple other things about the movie. In the movie, when Tom Cruise opens up his box and the pool cue is in there, he calls it a balabushka. Well, in the movie, that pool cue was not a balabushka. That was a Joss, J-O-S-S. -S. That was the name of the company that made the uh, pool cue for that movie. So it was not a balabushka. The Joss is about 800 bucks right now, I think. And I don't know how much a balabushka is. I'm guessing more, but <laughs> maybe they're rare. But I think Balabushka probably sounded a lot more mysterious for the movie. And then one more thing that you surely don't know about, because I got this right from the horse's mouth, or should I say the bartender's mouth. In the movie, there's a scene where Paul Newman and the girl, I can't think of her name, they go into the bar and Tom Cruise is shooting pool. It's a con. It's a setup. They're trying to con somebody out of some money. So Tom Cruise is shooting pool with a guy and they're playing for 50 bucks. So Paul Newman and the girl come in and they sit at the bar and then Paul Newman starts up a little, you know, a little nuisance, a little uh, something to get his attention. He gets Tom Cruise upset. So Paul Newman goes over and he says, I bet 500 on this guy. I bet 500 the kid chokes is what he said. And the kid being Tom Cruise. And right after that, he says, any takers, any takers? And there's a pause. And then the bartender from behind the bar, he says, Want to go for a thousand? And guess what? I knew the bartender. He passed away a few years ago. And he told me that what he really said was, Want to go for a thousand? Let's see the color of your money. He said that. And to me, that's like the whole movie right there. I don't know why they cut that part out, but that kind of brought everything together. You know, let's see the color of your money. Anyway, for whatever reason, Martin Scorsese, they cut that last portion of the line out and all it says in the movie is want to go for a thousand that's it so anyway just a little tidbit of information that you probably did not know and now you know so with that and about three bucks you could probably get yourself a cup of coffee <laughs> all right please do me a favor before i head out smash that subscribe button down there and then ring the bell down there ring it that way you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos they'll go right to your inbox you won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.